Hello, pocket knife community, knife lovers, knife enthusiasts, interested viewers. Folder here. I want to do a review, an overview on the Spyderco Delica. And what did I do with those? Oh, here they are. Scales. Spyderco Delica. And, uh,. And, um, right, the Delica 4, the most recent version of the Delica, in K390 with a satin Warncliffe blade and blue FRN handles. I know what you're saying. Those don't look like blue FRN handles to me. But that's because they're not. They're tight. They're flitanium titanium. Here are the blue FRN handles. We did a change. So I did an entire video on this. I did an, an entire video on the entire process, um, the swap and everything, and um, it was a little bit of a train, train wreck. <laughs> I mean, I ended up getting it on, obviously, um, and I'm not going to even show the video. It, it was broken up. It was just all crazy, so it's not necessary, really, to go where I was going with it. So anyway, I am going to do a review on this right now. I have this on my scale because when you... Um, wait when you uh when you change scales especially going from frn to titanium what matters most is probably the weight and the and now the delica is 3.6 3.7 ounces okay from and i'm just gonna go with the specs i'm not even gonna i didn't weigh it with the frn but i'm going to go with the specs from the factory uh weight was 2.2 ounces so that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of weight. Why would someone add weight to their knife? Right? Because that's what I did. I took off the black factory clip that was on there. And I put this milled one on. And I added these titanium, flytanium titanium liners. Um, I'm going to get into that. We so let's just go over the specs. If you don't know, most people that know about the Delica do know the specs, but I'm just going to run through them. The blade length is 2.9 inches, the cutting edge is uh 2.5, so 2.9 and then 2.5. Okay, oh yeah, what did I mention? It was a worn cliff. Okay, closed is 4.25 inches. And the overall length is 7 inches, or 7.1 inches to be exact. So it is just in the mid-range, right? Over 7, under 8, okay? Blade thickness, which is a svelte, <laughs> um, 0 0.098 inches, or 2.5 millimeters. The blade material is Bowler K390. It's a cold tool steel. Some good stuff. It is not stainless. That's why there's oil all over the place. That's one of the reasons why there's oil all over the place. I'll, I'll, I'll get to the oil, why it's all over the place, but that's one of the reasons why, because we're talking about a tool steel that is not stainless. And actually, I think this is like my first time really buying, oh no, no, I have a few other steels that are, that are non-stainless, um, that don't have any, that hardly any um, rush uh, prevention. I, you know, even though crewware is an, is not a stainless steel, I, I kind of put crewware in a, in a, in a place of its own. It has an unbelievable ability to not rust. Like you got to really beat up crewware as a non stainless. You have to really be doing the wrong thing to get rust out of that. But, um, I'm not really sure about the, um, the K390. So worn cliff blade, full flat grind satin finish. Uh, the handle materials, like I said, were FRN. It is a lock black, a lock, uh, a a lock back, essentially, right? That's what it is. Does it shake down a little bit? And it does. So I got, I got the action. It took some work to get the action right on this thing, but I'll get into that. Um, tip down, right hand carry. And that's it. It's made in um, Japan, right? Second City, Japan. Uh, so, 
what is why go from FRN, right? Why go from these scales to this? Why? Why do that? Okay, I'm gonna just point out some of the pros and cons of um, these these scales. First of all, the original scales that came out were from Flytanium were not contoured as much as these are. I think these are much nicer. They have a contouring here around the pivot that's very nice and also around where your, your fingers land inside. So there is a little bit of a three-dimensional um, uh, aspect to these scales. They're not, they're not super contoured and round, but there is some, uh, and especially enough to make them look better than just a regular flat titanium. Um, also, I like this knife in the Warncliffe in the one cliff blade. I really like the way it looks in one cliff. I don't like it as much in the original um, blade shape that's similar to the um, PMs. You know, very similar to the PMs. I like it better. With this smaller knife, I like it better. So, and that's what this is all about, right? What we like. So, what are some of the reasons why? So, let's just talk about the the positive all right let's talk about the positives of titanium over frn on this knife for me um looks i'm gonna i'm gonna, yeah that's it i'm 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 shallow yeah I'm, I'm shallow looks i think it just looks way better so that was the number one motivation i like the way it makes the knife look two um uh i f i like the feeling of titanium uh, not that these don't feel good and especially with this directional uh bi-directional patterns that offer incredible grip when you're using it there's a premium feel that goes along with a metal knife titanium and the delica needs it Delica is a very non-premium um, model in the Spyderco line. So looks the way it feels in hand, uh, I think are the primary reasons why. We're knife enthusiasts, right? I'm an enthusiast. Looks matter. It looks cool. <laughs> That's enough. I could stop there. End the video. Right? You don't really have to say anything else. But what are the downsides? Did it improve anything? And I would have to say no. The Delica, the Delica is really a uh, low-budget, entry-level knife in the Spyderco line. Uh, people complain about blade play. People complain about blades not being centered. Um, there's a lot of complaints that go along with this knife. So you would imagine, like, if there's quality control issues... I'm not even sure if they're quality control issues at this point. I just think that it, that with the price point and with the um, that Spyderco just lets it go. I really do. You know, um, so the complaints that people have about this knife are muted because it is such an excellent cutter. It is an excellent cutter. This thing is outstanding at slicing. It's very thin blade stock. The geometry is excellent um, for utility cuts and for detailed cuts. Like if you're cutting out a pattern or something, you, uh, say maybe you were cutting out a pattern for leather gloves. And then you were going to sew these gloves together. If you had to do some detailed cuts with this, this is a this thing is surgical. I mean, it really is. I'm not going to bother even doing any cutting on this because there's a million videos on YouTube about showing the cutting prowess of this particular shape with the K390. And they're all incredible. So just look at them. But it's a very good cutting tool. So the, they, so they sacrifice the other, the other aspects. Also, too, when I took the knife apart, it came with an incredible amount of oil inside. Now, I know this is a non-stainless steel, but I couldn't figure out why there was so much oil gunked inside this knife. I mean, it was, I'm talking about an excessive amount of oil. And um, it turns out that, you know, the action is so bad on this thing. Like, you kind of need that much oil in there. 
You know, you kind of you kind of really do. I don't have any blade play up or down, none. It's solid as a rock, feels good. I have the thing very heavily oiled inside and out, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Uh, I put this smaller pocket uh, milled clip on here. I think it looks excellent, and this thing functions outstanding. This is one of my best pocket clips I have. I actually have it on my Kiranite, uh, my custom Kiranite um, uh, Manix 2 also. My, my Kiranite, these are custom scales I had made. Um, no two scales are the same because it's poured. And uh, yeah, it's the same clip, except, um, you know, it's just black with a little Spyderco thing on it, you know, but um, for the most part, it's, it's the same exact clip. And these clips are excellent. They're, they're extremely good at doing three things. Extremely good. One, the ergos are fantastic. You don't feel it in your hand. It feels like the clip's not even there. So that's one. Two, it sits in your pocket extremely well i mean you can see how this thing is it kind of goes right down in there you see how much it covers this deep pocket the whole knife is in there okay so it sits in very well and three taking it out is just a pleasure because you just kind of reach in you grab the whole thing here and you just kind of pull and because of the way that geometry is very easy to take it in and out of your pocket and having it on titanium makes it easy also so yeah, the clip is nice. Um, so I will say this, right? That uh, it didn't, you know, this knife in titanium, um, I wouldn't have it any other way because I wasn't a big Delica fan overall with looks, but the slicing ability is incredible. I really like the fact that I did it. If you compare it to other Spydercos that are metal, it, it can't com it cannot compare to them but then again the the price point of those knives are are higher i actually have three other spydercos in three different metals to actually compare this back lock to um in in this particular knife so one i have uh my my flagship manix 2 in in all aluminum you know this knife is actually butter smooth i mean it's, it is ridiculously smooth the tolerances are excellent on this knife i mean excellent the action is is incredible but there's a lot of custom on this the entire blade and the tang were were polished it's a stone finish but that's what a polished stone finish looks like so it was all polished out for for so that the entire action would be smoother you know, this 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 thing is is incredible. But yeah, so this is a this is a level above this it, it, with the fit and finish, the quality, everything. Uh, the next metal would be titanium. So we have aluminum, we have titanium. We have my flagship PM2 with the titanium um, scales, um, and this knife's action is also flawless. No blade play at all drop shutty action as you can see ridiculous um tolerances perfectly scented blade i have no complaints about this knife at all so the, the fit and finishing quality of this is far above the delica with titanium i have to say and it's also two different types of locking mechanisms and ironically my next spider co that's in a different metal than all these um has a different locking mechanism also actually yeah, it's probably a um it's probably very similar to the compression it is the uh the smock in zirconium which is a very dense heavy metal uh this knife actually is is extremely high quality i think this knife is underpriced especially in the community today i'm not sure what they go for but i, I remember it not being crazy i can look it up but you know it's it's definitely one of those knives that i mean it comes in the g10 with the carbon fiber laminate over that's how they come when you change to these scales these scales are really heavy and it actually took the knife to a very heavy place you can see the line um the the, the exposed liners along with the zirconium 
I think this thing is like 5.7 ounces or something crazy like that. Yeah, it actually is 5.7 ounces, almost six ounces. Um, so it makes the knife very heavy, but this is also a very high quality knife, the Smock. So when you look at um, three different spider codes, three different metals used, um, and the fit and finish and the quality of these knives are, are I must say, above the Delta. Um, but that's how they started out anyway. The titanium definitely, definitely, for me, for me, the titanium does bring this knife up much closer to a, um, to a Spyderco that's, um, you know, a higher level, uh, a higher level knife. So, and I, I'm going to enjoy this. Yeah, definitely going to enjoy this. I definitely love the way it looks, you know, really do. So anyway, I'm going to do a video very soon of, um, my Spyderco collection. Uh, I have about somewhere between 25 and 30 of them. Um, I don't have incredible diversity. I mean, there could be more models. Some of those models, like five or six of those knives, I think are PM2s. I think I have more PM2s than any other uh, model. As a matter of fact, I'm positive I do. You know, but I have, um, yeah, I have a pretty good, pretty good collection. I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. I, I like it a lot, so. All right, anyway, that is the Spyderco Delica uh, with the K390 steel with the flitanium, titanium scales done up with the Spyderco custom milled pocket clip, Warncliffe blade. All right, <laughs> okay, that's all I got.